But I got this book, Vlad. <laughs> Let's check it out. Another kind of freedom, bro. It's my autobiography. It's um, it's my autobiography. It's a life, my life story. Um, I feel like whatever walk, if you white, black, rich, poor, whatever walk of life you came from, it'll be parts of this book that you will be able to identify with. Um, you know, I got, I done been into all type of shit, good and bad. You know what I mean? And um, I just poured my heart into this shit like this. I wrote it when I was locked up. It actually ends before I get released from prison. Um, but I need everybody to support. Um, you know, it's just my little redemption story, how I got once in prison, how I got my shit back together, got my life on track, and just kind of tried to change my, my thinking. You know what I mean? It's certain principles that I'm going to always stand on, but it's about making smart, mature decisions and, you know, taking responsibility. And a lot of being a man and me and my growth is sometimes I know I'm wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like when you say what you're saying, I know that not calling the police ain't the smartest thing, but that's something that I'm not chain switching up on. You know what I mean? I'd rather let the criminal walk away. You know what I'm saying? Especially if he ain't harming nobody. You know, like, my brother's gone already. But listen, chialibx.com. That's the website. Check me out, chialibx.com. You can get the book. We got hats. We got deals on it. If you um in prison, it's less for all the bros that's locked up. It's 25% off for all the brothers locked up. We got some hats. Like, you get a hat for free or some shit if you get some certain. You know, we got all type of specials. Just go to the website, chialibx, another kind of freedom. My autobiography written by me, no ghost writer. No goes nothing, no other publishing. I did all this shit myself, my bread, like my heart and soul. Like this is some shit I really worked on for a while, Vlad, and I appreciate you, you know, letting me, yeah. you know, give me the platform to talk about. You know, we always been good, but I still, you know, you yeah. know I still gotta say thank you. Well, you know, our first, well, our last interview, you know, that we did, I just looked it up. This was back in, uh, 2012 and uh you know you just got out of prison after doing your 12 years and i think the the great part is that i've never heard of you going back to prison <laughs> i haven't heard of you doing anything stupid like you've stayed on the straight and narrow yeah, i mean you look I'm good you i mean look i have my, my moments but for the most part, like I'm old too, Vlad. I'm 42. But like, a lot of times, these, a lot prisons, of that, the these prisons is, are revolving yeah, doors. Yeah, but man. a lot of that too, to see they don't tell you, is the age demographic. It's like, all right, they say the recidivism rate is high, but why is the recidivism rate not high for homicide, people who commit homicides, like myself? And a lot of that is because more crimes is committed between motherfuckers between the age of 16 and I think 28, then it drops. Then 28 to 35, after 35, it drops more. But if you give me 15, 20 years to first go around for the homicide, by the time I get out, I'm past the demographic because all my friends then died, moved, got married. You know what I'm saying? So you're not, when you're 40, most of the time you're not on the corner slinging and doing the shit that's going to have you in that revolving door. You know what I'm saying? So that revolving door is usually for motherfuckers with drug cases that's getting them two to fours and them bum ass cases. You know what I'm saying? But that's not a revolving door for everybody. Mo like 90 some percent of the motherfuckers locked up for homicides that go home do not come back. Well, listen, man, I want everyone to go check out the documentary. The premiere in New York is coming. We'll have a date for you soon. We're yeah. going after that. After the, at the after party tonight, we're probably going to sit down and get the New York <laughs> premiere date. It's going to be dope. I definitely yeah, want man. you to come. Definitely coming, um, man. Uh, but it's a very dope documentary. If you enjoyed definitely. watching what you know, what me and Chielli just talked about here, watch the documentary because it's so much more intricate in terms of all the B roll and the music yeah, and the yeah, footage yeah, yeah. And, and the in the book, like my 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 autobiography, it really, I feel like that breaks it down in, in the more depth because it's, it's it's first of all it's my words. Um, you know, just being written and you could get into more depth. You can, you know, talk more about it, how you was feeling and this angle and that angle and different things um, where it's not being edited and time constraint for time mm -hmm. constraints and, you know, things of that nature. So it's definitely something you want to check out. And it's just, it's just something I did. I, like it's something I did like really just all by myself, bro. 
and like I put all like my money into it and just my work into it and it just feel good to you know to actually have something tangible that I could see you know like I had a book that was written like a manuscript but I didn't have a book you know what I mean to have a fucking book like it's just dope to have my face on some shit and I'm fucking geeked man I'm a little hype bro congrats man congrats you know so Chelly saying? man looking forward right. looking forward to more great things from you keep keep doing your thing keep maintaining you and, already know uh, Vlad you know keep you know. talking to the kids in the prisons and I'm talking to everybody in, out. I'm trying to keep them, the ones out from going in. That's what it you is. You know, and it's just about, you know, just ways of keeping it real and, and keeping it right, too. And that's what we got to learn and, and, and to keep it right, man. And we got to just let go of the hate, man. But I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity. You already know how we do. Of course, man. I fucks with you, bro. Till next time. Til Peace. Next time.